Hey everybody, welcome to Brickball. My name is Jack and today we've got a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive minifig to review. This one is the Black Suit Symbiote Spider-Man. The San Diego Comic-Con minifig was released as part of a raffle, and according to any of the sources that I've heard from, there were only 1,000 of these guys released. Because he's a bit rare, this makes him worth a lot. It's always hard to pin down exactly how much these exclusive minifigs cost. It's safe to say a quality version of this minifig that includes the San Diego Comic-Con card is worth hundreds of dollars. Let's take a closer look at this card, actually. It's got the July 2012 printing and brick code authority on the upper part, and below is the 2012 exclusive symbol and a little congratulatory excerpt. The backdrop artwork is pretty colorful and very comic booky. And as always on the back, there is some sort of promotion and the printing graphic looks pretty good. Anyways, let's take the symbiote Spider-Man off and put him on the stand. And I'm gonna say right now, he's actually not that great of an exclusive minifig. Don't get me wrong, I think the printing for the chest is fine. I just don't like that one year later, LEGO reused this same torso piece to create a different symbiote Venom minifig. It takes away the specialness of the exclusive minifig a little bit, but this guy's definitely not the first example of that happening. The head printing is completely unique, however, and also just incredibly simple. When you see the eyes next to this Spider-Man here, you'll see that they used the black part of the outline for the eyes and just made everything on the inside white for this minifigure. This makes it the simplest head printing for any Spider-Man minifigure made by LEGO. So I'm a little bit sad to say he's probably one of the least interesting of the exclusive minifigs you could get from San Diego. Anyways, I liked the symbiote villain concept of Venom and Carnage. Lego did a much better job showcasing these guys in later years. If it's any consolation, I'd peg this guy as the most underwhelming of the exclusive minifigs. So if you watch any of our other videos, I can tell you right now that the other exclusive figs are definitely better. So that's it for this episode. If you have any ideas about what kind of LEGO videos you might want to see us do in the future, you can let us know in the comments section below and we'll try to get that done. But other than that, thanks a lot for watching and if you enjoy our content, feel free to subscribe and we'll see you next time at Brick Vault.